Hello and welcome to a new video about my barbecue controller. Well, today it's not really about the barbecue controller. Today we want to program um, a library which will trigger a transfer of a value based on time, so because of a timeout, or because of a threshold. Mm -hmm. This I want to do. I want to do a library for that. I want to do an object for that. So I will start a new Arduino library project. I'm not entirely sure if this is correct. Let's see. Okay, where to put this? And how to call this? Uh, I call it transfer trigger. Transfer trigger. Looking good. I want to have this based. Yeah? I want to have this based. Oh, ah. nice. I want to have this based on my. Uh, I will include there. My timeout. Uh, this looks totally different here. Uh, I will have this based on my timeout library. So let's open here the timeout library. Uh, yeah. This time I call it class transfer trigger. Uh, then we have a transfer trigger. We have an unsigned long, and this should not be a timeout. Uh, this should be a threshold. And an unsigned long timeout. That's it. Transfer trigger. Let's the two things. Then I have here a timeout. Trends timeout, then I have an unsigned long. Last triggered value. And an unsigned long. Last checked value. This is good. This is good. Then I will have here some pool check check timeout uh, check transfer and long uh, check value. I will have a set timeout, yeah. then I will have void set threshold, okay, this is how this should work, okay, I want a class threshold trigger. I have a threshold value. Once the, the value has changed a certain threshold, I want to trigger a, a transfer. Or once the timeout has has passed a certain time, yeah, I want to, to, to trigger to trigger a, a transfer. Okay. Here this check transfer should deliver true or false. We give a checked value, check value. So Please check this value, should I transfer it or not, and we will get true or false. This, this is the main function of this, of this uh, object. Okay? And uh, I want to have the timeout. So if the timeout is zero, we will only transfer on threshold. Yeah? If the timeout is not zero, 
we will add a timeout value. Here is the timeout value internal in this object internally, and uh, uh, this checks. Huh? I will have this zero if the timeout is zero uh, now, if the timeout is zero, or a timeout if the timeout is not now. Then uh, this last triggered value is the value we last sent OK. Huh? And the last checked value is the value which was last checked here. Uh, so the last triggered value is the value we know we have transferred. Uh, we have to tell this object. And there is this auto trigger I thought of. So there's, if the auto trigger is true, then whenever time this delivers true, we assume the main program or the caller will send it. Okay. If the auto trigger is false, then we're waiting for the trigger send OK. And only after the trigger send OK, we have the last checked value copied to the last triggered value. I hope this will be clearer. I hope you could follow what I'm trying to do. Uh, good. So let's open the transfer trigger. Uh, let's simply copy all those stuff. Now let's program this. Uh huh. Threshold will. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> oh, already missed something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I have here. And set timeout. If the if the timeout value was un, unequal to null, then uh, dot. What is then? Uh, set timeout, copy this, else, new timeout, if we have to delete this, delete an object, I have to look how I how I made this. Delete this. Delete. I think this should work. Hmm. What I don't like is all those those auto corrections and so on. Hmm. Let's see. <clears throat> when we when we delete this transfer trigger, we also have to call the set timeout with zero because then we would delete the created timeout value. Okay. All right. Check transfer. This is the more this is the more sophisticated approach. So let's see if this timeout not now. No. If absolute value of uh, this last triggered value minus check value bigger than this threshold, then we are triggering. Yeah, bool trigger is gleich false. No, we will call it this. That's that's the trigger. Check the threshold. What 
Wasn't it absolute value? I think it was absolute value. The threshold. All right. If this timeout not equal to zero, not equals null, then trigger equals trigger or this timeout timed out. This is the timed out. Okay, now the trigger is true if the threshold is bigger, if the, if the difference is bigger than the threshold, or if the timer has timed out. All right? And this last checked value equals check value. All right. And now if this auto trigger, this triggers end OK. If trigger and auto trigger, then I will trigger myself. And in trigger, I will do it like that. I will say this timeout set now to restart the timeout because we just sent it correctly. And this uh, last triggered value equals this last checked value. Okay, and here we return, return our trigger. <laughs> All right, this should be good. Threshold, self set the threshold. This threshold equals threshold. It was easy. Yeah, change the threshold. And now uh, get threshold, return this threshold, good, and return this, this, uh, if this timeout not null, return this timeout get timeout or what is the what is get timeout value okay this is correct else re return zero mm -hmm. now we should be correct I think I think this is correct. Now we should be able to have a transfer trigger element. I'm not sure if I'm doing anything correct with this with this all those those lines here and stuff. I will save everything and now mm -hmm. I will cope with this documents, Arduino, libraries. I will copy my transfer. Projekte, Arduino Lips, transfer trigger. Here is transfer trigger. I will copy this to the library for uh, to the library. Uh -huh. yeah, save it. File. Close project. Now I open my barbecue temperature controller. All right. Now I am. Adding this this library uh, now I should find it in user user install library transfer trigger no so I have to refresh toolchain reload complete user install library transfer trigger here it is transfer trigger 
Okay, but this is going to go away. Here we say transfer trigger, trigger, temp one. And now, uh, what was the threshold? The threshold was uh, 0 0.5, so I have to get 50. Yeah, because I said we have we are working with two commas. Uh, the timeout value, uh, we say let's make this 10 seconds. Yeah, auto trigger is true. Okay, I don't have to give this. So long temp grill. I will have this long value. All right. And now I will check here trigger temp one dot check tensor and the new value. This was temp grill. Here I will transfer this. I will change the temp grill divided by 100 to have this correct. I don't need this. I also don't need this. All this stuff I don't need anymore. Don't have to remember this here now. Hmm. There's still one red. Where's this one red? I have this one. I don't know why this is always weird. I'm gonna try to try to. Oh yeah. Trigger invalid void. Oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe just like that. Well, this is exactly what it was written there. Ah, so. Ah, ha, ha, ha. this was. This was the reason. Okay. Start once again. It's compile game. It's compile game. Do we receive here anything? Okay. Upload this. Let's see if this is still working. Hmm? It's working. Why is it now always sending? Grab it once again. This should not happen. Why is it always sending? We want to find out why, what is, what, what, what has triggered this because we're transferring too often, I think. Now I should be written here, timeout may have triggered. All right, timeout has triggered. And now I'm touching this. Threshold has triggered. Threshold has triggered. Why is the threshold triggered? Let's see. Threshold has triggered. Last triggered 24 to 7. 24. Hmm. What is the threshold then? 24. 15. So there is 24, 15, 24, 0, 7. Would I have uh, entered the threshold? 50. It's not 50 difference. Check one. Ah! These are unsigned values. Hmm.
und auswirken. Diese unsigned values. And unsigned values, if I, if this check value is bigger, because it's growing, I be below zero, and below zero means a big, big value, because I have an overflow, because it's calculating in unsigned. This is probably the case. Yes, now, now, it's looking better. Okay, now it's working. It's clear, yeah, because if I be below zero and have an unsigned value, then I am far, far above. Yeah, and so that I need to, to typecast this here too long, yeah, because actually it's not very nice, yeah, because then it, I would, would uh, should not happen. Yeah? Because now I see last week at 20, 22, uh, yeah, here we are above 50. Here we are above 50. And in between, we have not sent anything. That's now okay. That's now okay. All right. Now, I will do this in the next video. In the next video, I will... I will extend this. I, will, I want to have this here. I want to have this here. In a, in a, because we have the four temperatures, up to four temperatures, yeah, and I want to, to extend this to four temperatures, and so I want to, to have here, um, let's say, uh, a method, uh, dealing, dealing with this sending and so on. Yeah? I have to think how to, to, to make this good. Yeah, but now we have this transfer trigger. Yeah. I will copy this transfer trigger back here, the source files. Because I altered them, right? No. I have not altered them here. Ooh, where are those? I know where they are. <sighs> they are... <laughs> This is also something, if you include the library here with this visual micro, yeah? Projects, videos, barbecue controller, then we have here libraries insert, and here's the transfer trigger, and here have, they are changed. Yes, here, this is, a, this is the changed copy, all right, and now, I will go back to the Arduino library. Libraries. I'm not sure if I do this correct, but... <sighs> Looking good. For me, it's looking good. <laughs> now you know why my libraries look like, why my libraries, how. <laughs> now you know why my libraries, libraries look how they do. Eh? Because this is my workflow. This is my, well, this is barbaric. Let's call it <laughs> barbaric coding. Uh, but in the end, it is working. Yeah, maybe I have to tweak a little bit here and there, but now I have this transfer trigger uh, and I can really make this here a little bit shorter. Next video. Now, uh, next video, extend this to more temperatures. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.